Hey, what's up, people? Pizza out here, and I've got another midweek chat for you guys. This one is going to be in regards to the upcoming Friday the 13th movie, which is scheduled for release next year in 2015, and the news that that film is going to be shot in 3D. Uh, apparently, Paramount and Platinum Dunes and whoever else is involved in the new Friday the 13th movie, they've eschewed one awful, tired, played-out gimmick for another. They've traded in found footage for 3D and let's just pray to God that they don't throw out there later it's going to be a found footage in 3D movie um, which very well could happen. Very well could happen. But um, yeah I was one of the many people who when I first heard that they were going to be doing this new Friday the 13th movie in found footage my stomach turned. My stomach turned. Um, why use at this point, a pretty played out gimmick to sell a Friday the 13th movie. And then it was sort of, you know, that idea seemed to kind of get dropped, which, you know, whew, you know, we dodged a bullet on that one. And then recently, a senior vice president for Paramount Studios was at some sort of exhibitors, uh, European exhibitors um, convention or something, talking about the slate of upcoming Paramount releases, and one of them that he mentioned, of course, was Friday the 13th, and he said that it was going to be in 3D, and apparently it's also going to be yet another reboot, so we're going to get the whole backstory of Jason over again, only this time in the third dimension, and my stomach turned yet again. I, I'm, a, a Friday the 13th movie, is really its own gimmick. It's a slasher movie. It's a series franchise slasher movie with Jason Voorhees in it. That is its own gimmick. That is its own selling point. You don't need to throw a gimmick onto a gimmick. <laughs> um, and especially, I mean, 3D and found footage. I mean, if this was five years ago, Sure. I mean, those were sort of, you know, they're still making, you know, found footage movies. They're making fewer and fewer of them. They're still releasing, you know, some of the bigger films in 3D, though. I really don't, I mean, I totally avoid 3D movies. I watch the 2D version. I don't, I really don't hear of a lot of people going to 3D movies anymore, uh, to be perfectly honest. So I, I'm, I just, I'm totally in the dark. Why sandwich a gimmick onto a built-in gimmick? I just don't get it. You know, the gimmick for this Friday the 13th movie should be that it is the 13th Friday the 13th movie. That is your gimmick. Uh, yet that is just so, I think, right in front of the faces of the people involved in making this movie that they're not even thinking about it. They're thinking about how can we sell a Friday the 13th movie, which sells itself. Um, it just shows how shockingly uh, dissimilar um, what the fans want versus what the studios think the fans want. And I'm sure the studios, their, uh, you know, their argument would be, well, the Friday the 13th remake, after the first weekend, it sank like a stone. And it did. It had an enormous drop-off from week one to week two was enormous. A huge drop off, had a huge opening, and then just absolutely fell off the face of the earth and like it didn't even survive a month in theaters. It was out after like four weeks, um, which was a huge, huge drop off. But I don't, that's not because of the fans. That's because of you not making a very good movie, in my opinion. I know it wasn't Paramount that made, necessarily that made the Friday the 13th remake, but it wasn't a great movie. For the 13th, Friday the 13th movie, you really need to give us, give the fans of this series something special. This movie should be for the fans. And I know always with these movies, they're trying to, they're trying to play to us, the hardcore longtime fans, yet at the same time while trying to bring in a new audience with, you know, a gimmick or with, you know, a popular, you know, musician, um, you know, to bring in that younger crowd, which just, for it for me, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Putting that gimmick, 3D or found footage, or heaven forbid, 3D found footage, um, onto a Friday the 13th film, just, it, it tells me, A, 
you have whatever storyline you're going with, if you even have a storyline at this point that you've signed off on, is absolutely horrendous and you know it, so you've got to throw this gimmick on there to try and get even more people into the theater who possibly wouldn't go see a Friday the 13th movie, but would go see a 3D movie if there's even that constituent of people that's still around. Um, I just don't get it. I really don't get it. And again... You know, what the fans want versus what the studios think the fans want is so shockingly dissimilar that um, it's shocking. It's absolutely shocking. And I posted about it on Facebook, and I was like, can we just go ahead and write off the Friday the 13th movie, you know, the new Friday the 13th movie as crap this early before it's even, you know what I mean, before we've even seen a trailer. Can we just go ahead and write it off as crap? And somebody was like, dude, you've got to believe. You've got to believe. And um, I do. I absolutely do. I, I, I you know, I, I, I believe <laughs> that the movie's probably going to be awful. I'm sorry. The movie's probably going to be awful. I mean, if, if, they're, if they're trying to sandwich gimmicks onto it and they kind of don't realize that it's the 13th, Friday the 13th movie, and can't we sort of just go with that and really just, you know, here's an idea. Bring back Tommy Jarvis. We don't need a backstory. We don't need any of that. Bring back Tommy Jarvis. A Tommy Jarvis. Um, you know, just give us Jason. Give us Jason in the woods. Do something special for the 13th Friday the 13th movie. That's not a stupid, tired, played out gimmick. Um, you know, I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, it's been, <laughs> I'm still sort of, um, I'm still just sort of shocked. Really? I mean, 3D? Wow. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know. L let me know what you guys think. I mean, are you cool with the, the idea of the new Friday the 13th movie in 3D? Are you cool that it's going to be yet another uh, reboot as if, I mean, <sighs> and there. I mean, that is a problem in and of itself because they're so, <laughs> it, it's like they're, they're not underestimating the viewer's intelligence. They're basically just saying the viewers are stupid and they have the uh, sort of the, they have the memory of like a housefly, <laughs> you know, <laughs> they have a memory like a housefly's lifespan. Um, so we've got to just, you know, every couple of years we got to tell them the same story all over again or they're just going to totally be lost. This big guy in a hockey mask running around killing people, if we don't tell them the backstory, they're just going to be totally lost. They're not going to know what's going on. Um... Oh, just totally, totally. I, I, I have no idea what's going on. I can't imagine what those meetings are like where there's everyone going, oh, yeah, we, we're going to have, we've got to do the backstory again. We've got to reboot it again. we got to reboot it again. Well, okay, but let's, okay. If we're not going to do found footage, what about 3D? People are still going to 3D movies, aren't they? Bob, are they still going to 3D movies? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, 3D then. It's going to be in 3D. Um... Do we really need that hockey mask? Now let's just let's just put a you know let's just <laughs> just go get a mask. Just go get some mask. He, they don't need that hockey mask. Or you know what? They even talked in the beginning that Jason may not even be in the film. So let's make the thirteenth Friday the thirteenth movie with no Jason and in three D. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome. I can't imagine. I mean, my goodness, my goodness. Uh, am I overreacting? What do you guys think? Let's let's have a discussion. Let's talk about the upcoming Friday the 13th movie. Are you cool with 3D? Are you cool with the reboot? Were you even cool with the idea of found footage, which ugh, still just makes me cringe? Um, anyway, yeah, so um, that's my midweek chat. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And uh, until next time, you guys take it easy. Peace.